Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to do nice smooth neon lines on the floor as seen in the recent MDP 2020 track that was released by the DDC League and this is just a quick tip on how to do this sort of thing so what people normally do is they pick something like this this shape here and then tile that along a spline so if I select that and we'll put our spine splines how big is this object it's one meter long so we put our spline spacing to say 0.75 and then we tile that along the spline and you get this kind of effect and it's just not very pretty as you can see it kind of works in some places but it doesn't work in others so how do we go about fixing that? So let's just remove that. Well actually it's just by being a little bit clever in the object you use and how you tile it. So the best object to use is one of the glow spheres. So in the neon section you'll, there are glow cones at the top and then there are the glow lines and the glow arrows and then the glow spheres. So if we pick a glow sphere, so we'll select our spine get a glow sphere put it on here and then I'm going to resize this to get the kind of shape that I want so I've set my um, orientation for my resize gadget to be local by pressing L you can see up here it's local it's not global it's local and then I'm going to squish this in a little bit to make it 0.1 you can see up here on the red I'm going for about 0.1 that will do and then on the blue I'm going to stretch it out to say 0.5 so it's half a meter long and then for my spline spacing so I'm going to select my spline and I'm going to set my spline spacing to 0.35 ish something like that so there's an overlap when this tiles along the spline and then if we just click this button here and now you'll see that we get really quite a nice for the most part really quite a nice smooth line all around our track now in the track editor you can notice the sort of the slight bobbliness in the line and you can adjust this depending on how you resize the sphere and how much you tile it so if you were to uh, increase the tiling so if we were to tile it a little bit more than we are so if I was to place one on here again and we'll resize it again to 0.5 that will go a bit smaller we'll go 0.4 and then we'll bring it into 0.1 again That'll do, around about that. And then I'll put my tiling here to 0.25. So it's now, it's kind of, in fact, we'll make it 0.2. So it's kind of half the length now for the tiling, like so. And if I now tile that one, you can see now again, I've now got like really nice lines. Again, you can notice a little bit of bobbling on the overlaps, but generally unless you do like a really tight turn like over here where there's a very very tight turn in the spline and you can see one object is like right on the corner there and you could in fact if you were to select that one you could remove it and then you're not really going to notice notice that but you can see you get a much smoother line using this kind of technique of a tapered and and repeated object on the line and then of course when you go to fly this so I've just put a, a start grid and a couple of invisible gates near so I can go to fly it when this glows you're then gonna notice even less this kind of slight bobbling effect along the line so if I just put test in here to test this track okay ready to race now what we should see is with the glow it's really not obvious at all that there's any bobbling along the line anymore and I've got a really nice 
smooth line laid down for my track. So that's how you do it. That's how you do really smooth neon lines or neon glow ropes for tracks. Okay, that's it. See you on the next video.